So this morning I'm going to go ahead and paint the picture I have of myself on here. And since I have all these blues everywhere, I chose to do an orange portrait of myself just to go with the complementary color scheme of the blue and the orange. So um, you have a couple different brushes and I need you to start using them for the size that you're painting. My portrait on here is a little bit small, but I'm going to start just with white and I'm just going to lay the white in. And I don't have the best paint, but you have really nice white in your kit. So I'm going to start laying in some white inside my highlights. I'm going to go in with some orange and add white to my orange. And I'm going to go ahead and add it in the other sections. I am going to grab a brush and I'm going to overlap my white and my um, orange. You know what? Let me go get some better white that you can see in the camera. I'll get some of the ones that you guys have. Give me a second. So I added white that you guys have, which is a much better quality white that I have. So um, I mixed some white and some orange right here. And I made a slightly lighter orange. And that's what I'm going to put around my white right there. Kind of get the rest of my skin. And I'm going right next to my actual white. I'm going to grab a clean brush and I'm going to move my white around and I'm going to sort of make it blend in with my orange. This is not traditional painting. This is kind of like patchwork painting, but I'm doing it on purpose so that you can keep your image. And it's kind of like paint by number almost. I'm going to make grab some regular orange with my darker brush. And I'm going to add it right here on the outside of my nose to give me that kind of shadow. And I'm going to just, I'm moving my brush in a little bit of a circular kind of motion. And I'm barely touching the actual piece. And that's how I'm blending my regular orange into my medium orange that I had. So again, I just grabbed an outline of my nose like that to give me my dark spot. And then I started moving around into my wet medium orange. If it gets too dark for me, I'm just going to grab my light orange that I have here. And I'm going to do the same circular motion, but I'm barely touching my uh, canvas, I guess, my portrait. Because if I start moving it around too much, then I move the paint. Because this is acrylic paint. It's made for layering. So I'm going to do that again with my very light orange. I'm going to do it right here. And I'm going to very gently just kind of feather in to the white. I'm going to grab another brush because that one's dirty. And you have a set of, of quite a few brushes, so you should be fine. And I'm going to do that with my white right there. Kind of blend my white into my orange for my highlight. And remember, this is acrylic. It's made for layering, so you can always add layers. But here's the deal. Each layer has to be dry before you can layer it. So with acrylic paint, if you... If the paint is wet and you keep adding more and more layers to make it a nice solid color, it won't work. All you're doing is removing the paint from the bottom and moving it around. You have to actually let it layer dry. And when it's dry, you can go ahead and add another layer of paint if you want. Then it becomes nice and solid. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to grab some red and I'm going to add a little bit of black to it. And I'm going to start adding some of my dark spots that go with it right on top of where I already painted. So I'm going to finish this for you. And I am going to post a picture of it. And you'll see that there are all these little blocks that just blended into each other. Right here it's wet. Paint. And I am just going to paint it red. For my hair. And I'm going to grab some orange. And I'm going to add little highlights of orange in there. Just to make it a little bit different. I'm going to grab a little bit of white. A couple little highlights of white in there, but blend them in so they look like the highlights of my hair. You know, kind of like where the light hits me. So that's it. We're doing kind of blocky type painting and we're going to get our whole image on here. Like I said, I'm going to keep painting and focus on little blocks and then focus on feathering in my little block next to my other block. And then I'll finish my whole portrait and I'll show you when I'm done with my painting. I am going to grab a couple paint brushes and paint a few designs in here to make these right here I'm sorry I'm going to paint in here to make these two pieces blend to each other bring a little bit of paint back into my cardboard I am going to add 
these origami flowers that I made in different sections, except they're too yellow for me. So I'm going to grab my paintbrushes and kind of just dirty them up a little bit to match more with my color scheme. But I'm going to go ahead and add all my little pieces now that I'm finished, just wherever I want, and finish off my whole little mixed media piece. I might add a couple more pieces here to my hair to make it more interesting. Um, but that's it. You just start putting everything together now. You can paint last. You can paint second to last. And then add. Totally up to you. All right, guys. Thank you.